how to consistently get more views on YouTube. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can consistently get more views on YouTube. So let's get into it. Now, the first thing about that is that you need to follow these three core principles. The three core principles are title and thumbnail to boost your click-through rate. If you don't have an interesting title or thumbnail that is enticing, then you're not going to get any kind of click. So people are just going to skip through the video. They're not even going to click on it. Now, one of the most essential things in your title is the keyword. So your title needs to be targeting a specific keyword, and I will go into detail about that later. And the second thing is to choose an enticing thumbnail that shows progress within the video. So if you're able to do this with the type of content you are creating, you want to show an image that will create a contrast where people can see the progression of the video. The next thing is once you have people getting to click on your video, so once you have done your keyword research and added a good thumbnail to your video, the second thing is that you want people to actually view the video. Just because someone clicks on a video, people often click away, they click on the next video if they don't find the video interesting enough. Now for that, you want people to watch for a long time, you want them to like, share, and comment. How do you get to do that? Well. For watching for a long time, you need to make sure you have high quality content. So make sure your content is centered around things people are actually searching for. And that once again leads me back to keywords. So search and create content with keywords in mind when you're making videos on YouTube. And this will actually get your viewers to stay for a longer time and view your videos for a longer period. Now, the next thing is to like, share, and comment. Asking your viewers to like, share, and comment is simple, but also try to interact with the viewers. Ask the viewers questions and ask their opinion. And if you're making a tutorial, then it is going to be a lot more likely that people are going to share it with other people if it's a tutorial or a to-do kind of video. Next is the creation of relevant content on a niche topic. So. I have discussed this previously about how you need to pick out your topic. If I pick out a topic like pet care on YouTube, you can see there is so much content on pet care. It ranges from anywhere from child entertainment videos to basic pet care to adopting pets. So this is a very broad category. I would not recommend creating a or picking a niche that is so, so broad. So even if you want to create videos on pet care or how to care for your pets, then what you want to do is niche down. So you want to go into the sub niches of a larger parent topic. Try to focus on that instead of the larger umbrella topic because you're going to lose audience if you pick too general of a topic like pet care or fashion. So if I just take a look at fashion, fashion is a very, very broad topic and it will get me to lose views or lose my audience. You might end up reaching audiences that are not interested in the type of fashion content you're creating. That would also lower your viewership as well as reaching a audience that is not looking for the content that you're creating. Make sure you are targeting keywords that are searched enough but don't have super high competition and the niche needs to be categorized in a specific search volume. So if I'm searching for fashion, it has a lot of results. So going for a sub niche like women's fashion or within women's fashion, women's fashion styling would be a better way to gain more views on YouTube. Now, the next thing is to create series playlists. Now, playlists are super effective in terms of getting more views on YouTube. If you go on to any successful channel, uh, you will see that whenever you're looking at a Whenever you're looking at a playlist, it's going to be of a similar topic. And whenever you're watching a TV show, you want to view all the episodes in order. So that is why you want to create different playlists. Let's say you're making videos on fashion and styling. Then you can create a playlist called Celebrity Fashion and Style and then include all of those videos within that specific playlist. 
So that is very essential to gain more views on YouTube. This also certifies that whenever you click on a playlist, usually the next video that you're going to see on the autoplay as well is going to be from the playlist as well. So this is another amazing way to gain more views on YouTube. Now, after that, you have to use target keywords that actually have demand. As I've said previously, if you are targeting number one for a keyword and nobody is searching for that keyword, what is the point? So make sure whatever target keyword that you choose actually has demand. You can easily use the Ahrefs keyword keyword free SEO tool and within their free SEO tool, you have the YouTube keyword tool and then you can add any keyword. And once you search for that keyword, we can just click on find keyword over here. And now you can see the volume, the search volume. So make sure it has a good search volume. It does not, it's not a keyword, like it's only being searched 1000 times, then it's not that great of a search indicator because you want to make sure that you're targeting a keyword that's getting at least a thousand or more viewership uh, per day that is being searched a thousand times or more per day because that would actually give you a high chance of getting views from the CTR rate. So the CTR rate is the click through rate where people, you know, they're not going to obviously watch your video. They're going to browse through a bunch of different videos and with more search volume, there's a more likelihood of your video being seen by viewers. Now, the next thing you need to do is embed on forms. So I've talked about this in keyword research is that when you go and search for keywords, go into the question sections of the Ahrefs keyword tool. And then once you do that, just verify you're not a robot, click on find keywords. And now you can see the question based keywords. And the reason that you're searching for these is that once you create videos on these question focused words, so using how to start a fashion blog or how to draw clothes for fashion, how to draw fashion uh, sketches. So so if you're creating videos like these, then you can easily embed them on forms. And how is this going to be helpful? Well, you can easily see uh, platforms like Quora, Reddit, and other platforms get a lot of viewership. A lot of people are watching those platforms or trying to find answers on those platforms. So what you're going to do is you're going to reply with your video when people are asking those questions. So just take a look at the top queries on Quora and make a video answering those queries and then you can reply to that Quora platform by embedding your video. Now, the next thing is to always have YouTube ads and retargeting ads. Now, if you are looking to invest money into advertisement, then YouTube ads are a great option, but a better thing to do whenever you're doing YouTube ads, and a lot of times people just, you know, run an ad campaign, they get a spike in viewership, and once the ad campaign ends, they don't have any consistent viewers. So make sure you are running retargeting ads. Often people will view your videos and they will not subscribe until a couple of times when five or six times they consistently see that they are rewatching your videos and then people subscribe. So Retargeting ads basically target people that have viewed your videos and have not subscribed to get them to see more of your content. And then once they see more of your content, they are more likely to subscribe and become permanent viewers of your YouTube channel. So these are just some of the things you need to keep in mind when you are running a campaign to get started with YouTube ads. Now, these are just some of the top tips to gain more views consistently. I've talked a lot about keyword research and I do have a detailed video on that, but just to overview it all, you need to find one or two seed keywords and then use your specific niche. Think of your uh, basic seed keywords and use a tool like keyword tool or keyword research tool. And you can use these two tools to analyze the keywords that you have. You can just go onto YouTube and download, uh, make sure you have added keywords everywhere Chrome extension to your Chrome browser. And then if you search for any kind of keyword, I'm searching for fashion over here. Now you can see on the top right, I'm getting my search insights. So I have the search volume, you have top channels, you have maximum views, average views, average age, keywords and title, keywords and description, as well as most used tags, trending keywords and related keywords. So this is going to be a helpful tool for you to be able to get more keywords into your video. Next up, you also need to understand the types of keywords and how you can link bait with topics. 
and how you can link bait with topics. So link baiting is basically find a successful YouTube video within the same niche as yours and see what they are doing and then replicate that kind of content or build on their template. So let's say you want to build a channel around food and how to cook that is a YouTuber that you think is doing amazing and is getting a lot of views. Just look at what she is or she or he is doing in their video how they are formulating it for success and use that same template. So if they're doing listicles, do listicles. If they're doing how-to tutorials, do how-to tutorials to get a better insight and to be able to generate better results. And then make sure that the keywords you're targeting are not super competitive or else you're not going to be able to rank as high. So that was it for today. I hope you guys found this video helpful. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.